it is is just kind of the muscles have memories so you got to create a memory and you got to take away memories too so we're just trying to get the muscles to diminish in spasm and to get these segments moving because he's just been walking around so locked up for such a long time so that'll that'll help even before the surgery i was locked up yeah you haven't moved this neck like it's supposed to be moved in a long time so just little by little, just get some more range of motion in this neck and that's gonna make a big difference. A new neck. New neck, they're on sale at Ikea. <laughs> yeah. It is like a trust fall. Only thing's a trust fall after he's got the spinal surgery. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Feel that? Yeah. How's that feel? I feel it. <laughs> Here. Oh, man. What's up? That, thing, that little thing's for fucking girls. Give them the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> you would know. How you doing? Fucking good, dude. Really good. Crazy. I have like, I have more range of motion now than I did before the surgery. Yeah. Bye, Matt. Yeah, Matt. See ya. See ya, bud. How's that power stance? I feel a lot better. This right side is super tight and it feels a little loosened up. I don't know if it's from what you did or the magnet. It's a little bit of both. It's just like the looking down. It's this motion. So you're gonna feel a little bit of restriction from the scar. So those are good things to do when you're on at home. Just yeah. Talk. Oh yeah, I feel that pulling. Perfect. So, the doctor has ordered me to give it a break from working out because I've been working out a lot and getting worked on. He said, get out of the gym for a little bit, chill, go on some hikes. So we've decided to come to Malibu and do a little nature hike. And we're gonna get up to the top of this hill and it looks over like the ocean and all the beach and stuff. So yeah, get a little sweat going, not in the gym, very low impact on the neck. And I'm honestly feeling amazing, so let's go. <sighs> Update, it's been five minutes. Elevation is getting to me. I'm pretty exhausted, fatigued. Yeah, let's keep going. Whoa, whoa. I got barreled. <laughs> the ocean. And the wind and the sea and the sun and it calls me. So what we have here seems to be a rock quarry. That water would flow down and then release itself into this river right there. See? Yep. Yeah, okay, let's keep going. During my injury, I have seemed to develop a layer of excess skin and possibly some fat on my body that I would love to get rid of. So, that starts now, getting rid of this layer. Santa Monica and Venice over there, you can kind of see the pier, Pacific Palisades. I guess we're not in Malibu, come to think of it. Malibu is on the other side of that hill. But I'm going to start going live 
for everyone who has joined my channel. That means you have clicked join on the channel and I will be answering all your guys questions on there. I'll be going live two times a month and answering everyone's questions even if it's not on the live if you just want to comment on anything. So join the channel. I'll be responding and going live just for you guys. So yeah. The recovery starts now. Getting in shape for winter and summer. This is the start of my new life. I can finally get in the ocean. And we left Venice Beach because it was looking very muggy and ugly and the water was super dirty. We came down to Zuma. Look how nice it is. It's been over a month since I've got in the water. Since before my surgery. And now I get to get in the ocean. It is so bright out. This is the beginning of my new life. I'll be able to surf in three weeks. I'll be able to travel in like a month and a half on surf trips. And then three months, or no, in about two and a half months, I'll be able to go anywhere, surf big waves, anything. So this is the first step for, for Carl Rothman getting in the ocean. Freezing, but it was nice. Oh, I miss the ocean so much. I cannot wait to be able to surf. Three more weeks from today. Check out the scar. It's all, it's a little swollen just from the stitches under my skin. That'll dissolve soon. But the cut itself, you can barely see the scar. Those guys did an amazing job. <laughs> Thank you, Disc Newport Beach, for fixing me up. Nice scar, good to go. I think I'm gonna try to get in some pool training and then I might go paddle boarding, prone paddling, lay, like lay down paddle. And yeah, I'm excited. I feel good. I'm ready for the new life to start. Let me start off, I'll just, so we're basically, we're gonna be doing something called Aldoa and you can just relax for a second, Koa. Um, it's osteopathic stretching that is designed to, in this case, uh, decompress the spine. Obviously after surgery, we want to create even more space than was created just for the overall health of the spine. Yes, we're creating space in that region, but we're creating an overall new structural integrity. Um, there's a lot of anatomical links within the body. So we're gonna try and address that with COA slowly here, um, starting out with maybe a 10 to 15 second hold and working up to uh, 30 seconds to a minute. but. Again, Aldoa is going to be good for a, a multitude of reasons. One being that, yes, we are decompressing the spine, but we're actually starting to increase its isometric strength in that neck region and the muscles that support the neck region. So right now we're going to focus on that C4, C5 vertebrae, and we're just going to kind of um, open up that region for that 15 to 30 second mark. So basically he's going to start off knees to chest. Okay, feel that your back is flat, right? Yeah. Okay, so heels are almost touching. Externally rotate them, pull the feet toward those shins, okay? Keep that back driving down. The hands are gonna come up. External rotation, okay? So do your best to keep your shoulder blades down on the ground while also pushing through the palms to the sky, okay? He's gonna go into a little bit of a chin tuck on that neck, good. And he's gonna take his gaze, he's gonna look right down between the legs. So I want you to push through the crown of your head and push out of that buttocks region over toward the end of the turf. So we're gonna maintain tension down on that low back, out the hands, out the butt, and through that, that crown of the head. Chin is tucked. I'm checking him, making sure he's maintaining that posture. The toes are pulled back. Chin is tucked. Good, slowly control your breathing. 
and what we're slowly implementing with COA here is this, this head lift. So he's gonna lift this head off the ground. If I had a sheet of paper, I just want him to think if I had a sheet of paper and I stuck it underneath his head, he's gonna lift it that much. Good, so a slow lift and then maintain that chin tuck. See if you can close that space a little more. Good. And now look down in the turf. Good. We're gonna go five, four, three, two. Slowly release everything. Good, slowly release. And good. It's like a full body workout. Yeah. Um, a lot of different points of tension, a lot of different things to keep in mind while doing these, but I'm a Eldoa certified practitioner, so you know it's uh, there's a lot of components to these stretches. So I wouldn't say it's something that you can just do right away at home. Make sure you're with the Eldoa certified instructor to kind of make sure you're doing it right and getting the most out of the movement. It'll make you taller too. Yes, it will. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what I'm doing. <laughs>